Okay, you guys, here they are. And this isn't even all of them. I did some damage on Black Friday and Cyber Monday, you guys. Everything was such good deals. Hi, YouTube family. I have an addiction to pellets. I am just accepting it for what it is. I love getting pellets and I love testing them for you guys. And the reason that I got all of these is because I wanted to show you really good pellets that were under $20 and I'm going to be testing all of these. But I did want to give you kind of a sneak peek as to what I got and as to whether or not I'm even starting to get excited about them. Of course, I haven't been able to use all of them yet, but I'm going to and I'm going to make sure that I pick out the very best for you guys. But I did want to tell you about a few of these things. I also would love some feedback if you guys have heard around, because you guys get around YouTube and you hear things more than I do. I, you know, being a creator, I'm really busy with uploading and filming and sometimes it's just hard to get around to learning about the new things that are out there. So if there's something that is from an indie brand or something that is new on the market that is around the drugstore that you guys have heard is really good and you want me to try, let me know that too in the comment section. I'm not gonna take a lot of time because I'm not, and I'm not gonna swatch all of these for you because there's just too dang many. I would be here all freaking day long and I'm not ready to do that. But I did definitely want to show you what I have. If there's one that grabs your eye, let me know because I would be happy to do a tutorial out of it. And here we go. Have you guys heard of Copycat Beauty? I heard of this through my feed on let's see, it was on Facebook, it was on my feed, and it came across, and it's basically just a dupe company. They just dupe everything. They have lipsticks, lip glosses, mascara, liner, but they are just like dirt cheap. And so I got four palettes, and I will tell you what each of these palettes is supposed to be like. This first one is supposed to be like the one from Huda Beauty that I believe is the Mauves. I'm not sure. It's their her little Obsessions palette. And I really do enjoy the color scheme in this one. I don't have the original. This one is the Mediterranean. I know that's gonna kind of just blind you guys. This one is supposed to be a dupe of a Anastasia Beverly Hills. I think it's the Norvina palette. I'm not 100% sure, maybe not. I will, I'll throw that up on the screen. I'm sure I'm wrong on that one. Okay, and then this one is the Earth Metals and this one is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Soft Glam. I don't have the Soft Glam one. And then this one is the Sultry palette. And their gold packaging and their silver packaging, I'm sure is blinding you guys to death. So those, I have tried a couple of them in there. So I am just, like I said, I'm just kind of getting a feel for what you guys like, what you'd like to see, what brands you've heard of. Just let me know. Okay, Folklore Cosmetics sent me both of these. They were gifted to me through PR. And I wanted to show them to you guys. This one is the Turkey Palette. Again, this is an indie brand. And that one has got a lot of warms in it. And then this other one right here is the Perth Palette. And um, it's got a lot of blues and lighter colors in it. So those are the two that I got from Folklore. And then these intrigued me because they came as a set off of Amazon. This is the You Can Be one and they're duping the Huda Beauty palettes and the two were on such a good sale. I just thought I'll go ahead and try them. This one I think is the Desert Dusk palette of hers or the, maybe this is the rose one. This is the rose one, I'm sure. So this is her, her rose one and then this is her new nudes that they're duping in this one. Very, very pretty. And so far, that new nudes one, I've really liked. I love the packaging on these. They're really kind of a nice quality on the packaging. You do get a mirror in there that's pretty good. So I will be comparing that one to, to the actual one that I do have. I wanted to make sure that you guys knew about LA Girl and their two new palettes that they have that are their 16 pan palettes. And these, you guys, I have the other two, the original two that they came out with. I love this formula. I am absolutely blown away by this formula. It is so creamy and smooth and silky. And I'm telling you, if you've ever thought that there was a high-end brand that was better, it's not because those are amazing, amazing shadows. And then I'll show you the other one. This, this is another Fierce and Wild one and it's called Untamed. So there are the colors for that one right there. And you guys, honestly, I just, I'm absolutely in love with these shadows. Not just their metallics, even though that's what I'm showing you, but their 
mattes are just something else. I will go ahead and um, dip my finger into this one and show you this one too. The mattes are every bit as creamy and blendable and buildable and they're gorgeous. So these you can only get on their website. I have not seen them. Now, if you have a CVS around you, they have said that some of these, the the two older ones, which I actually like the two older ones color scheme a little bit better than I like these two, but the two older ones, they're definitely a must as far as I'm concerned. They're so nice. These shadows are so good. I knew the second that I saw that they came out with new ones that I was going to pick them up because I absolutely love those things. Okay. BH Cosmetics has out right now just for the holidays their This is their Fairy Lights palette. I really like this palette, you guys. I am not a huge BH Cosmetics fan. I have had a lot of theirs in the past that I've used and I liked, and somewhere in there, I feel like they kind of got a little bit lost with what they were doing, but these ones are really good too. Very soft and very creamy on their formula, and I'm running out of fingers to show you guys, but I do appreciate how nice these are. I've only worked with that palette probably three times so far, but it's really a pretty, pretty palette. And it does have a lot of nice neutrals in there, but you get a few pops of colors and those soft pinks that you can work with. Really like that one too. This one drew me in. Makeup Revolution has been disappointing me lately over their formula. And that really makes me sad because I know that when they first came out, I loved their formula. The neutrals versus neutrals palette. I was in love with that, but then somewhere along the way, they lost me. And this one came out and this one is the Precious Stone and this is their diamond. And the reason that I wanted to pick this up is because of all the neutral tones in there and all of the great metallics. I wear a metallic on my lid almost every day. Sometimes I get just a little bit bored with the same things on my lids all the time. So I picked this one up because I thought this one was gonna be really, really good. And it's okay, you can kind of see what I'm talking about there. Even finger swatches. Finger swatches are always the deepest that you can get. And even the finger swatches kind of let me down. So I wish Makeup Revolution would come around somewhere to where they went back to that original formula because it was so much better than the new ones that they have out. They just don't work for me anymore. I did get sent the Aurora palette from Alter Ego through PR and I am in love with this. this I don't know which of the Natasha Denona palettes this is a dupe for. But so far, you guys, this is amazing. The quality on it is amazing. The butteriness of sticking my finger in there into the mattes is just, oh my gosh. You guys have probably already seen several tutorials on this, but this is a company that really has just impressed me ever since they came out and ever since they started. I think this is their fifth palette and I really have not been disappointed, not even once with any of their stuff. So really am loving that Aurora palette very, very much. I am going to be doing some looks with that, even though it's more on the warm side and I have sometimes a little bit hard time doing the warm looks, I will be doing some for you through those. All right, ColourPop came out with so, they always come out with so many. And I have gotten to where I really don't do a lot of ColourPop, even though I adore their formula, it just seems like, we talk about it and then they bring another one out and they discontinue one we have. I loved their Rendezvous palette. I still have it. As a matter of fact, it's the only one that is that I have of theirs that's discontinued because I know that I need to use them and show you guys. And if you can't get it, it can be so disappointing. But their new packaging, I'm not kidding you guys, it's sucking me in big time. And I have another one up here. I did show you guys this one already. This is the Bye Bye Birdie palette. I showed you this in my monthly favorites and it is such a beautiful color scheme. Oh my gosh. And these palettes, the way that they're packaging on them, I'm sorry, I got completely sucked in by all of this packaging. And again, here's the, this one is Give Me Butterflies. So pretty, look at the pinks and the peaches on there. So beautiful. I did state before that I'm not happy with ColourPop and putting the plastic glitter in here, and I still feel that way, but I love their formula and all of these palettes I've used so far, and their formula is still great. 
I actually am going to get to the point to where I probably just dig that glitter out so it's not in any of the other ones. This one doesn't have any glitter in it. This is the X's and O's palette, but again, look at that packaging. Oh my gosh, you guys have probably seen tutorials with this one already. I hadn't gotten a chance to pick that one up. This one is called Butter Me Up. Again, suck me right in tractor beam with the whole entire higher color schemes and then all of this gorgeous packaging they really stepped it up for these palettes and then lastly they were having 50 percent off at beauty creations and i just i went in i'm like i'm gonna buy a bunch of their stuff because i used to buy their palettes that are called like Anne and elsa and there's a few others like that and I really wasn't that impressed with the quality, but then I saw that they had these sets on their website for the holidays. And I was just like, oh man, I got, you want to talk sucked in. I got sucked in, but this seduced me palette. You guys, I love these colors on here. I love the way they set this one up. I think it's just absolutely gorgeous. And it's got a nice smear in it. Again, the packaging is so pretty and I just, I really like this one so far. This one from them is probably my favorite one out of the two that I got. The other one that I got is their Eye Bloom palette. And again, it has, this has the cutest mirror on. I'm gonna kind of blind you guys, but it's a heart. Isn't that so cute? And then the colors in here are really the mauve pinky colors. There's a couple peaches over here. So pretty. I dipped my finger into these. I haven't used them yet because I actually just got them a couple days ago and I haven't had a chance to use them, but I did want to show you here. This is their highlight and their contour one. Now I will tell you that these are so creamy. Oh my gosh, dipping my finger into them just was like, wow. So I will make sure I tell you about the blendability on them too. And then this one is the Floral Bloom Blush Palette. And again, this reminded me so much of a Jouer palette. Oh wow, I just was like, ah. Just blown away by how pretty those are. So those three were in a collection and the Seduce Me was separate. So those are all the new palettes I got. <laughs> I know it's a lot, you guys, and I went through them a lot, but I would love to introduce you to them specifically if you'd like me to do specific reviews and specific tutorials with them. So let me know. I'm gonna be playing with them. If you request something, please don't be angry at me that I wasn't able to get to it because if I do try a palette out and I think that it's really a bad quality, I will just declutter it almost immediately. If I try it out a couple times, it's no good. I'm going to declutter it because I, you know, that's my job. I test things for you guys, but I wanted to make sure that I came on here and showed you all of this goodness today. But all of these sales, oh my gosh, you guys, I was in hog heaven just trying to decide which ones I wanted to try. So that's it for today's video. Let me know in the comment section below what you guys would like to see. Thank you for spending a part of your day with me. Give it that old thumbs up on your way out of here if you wouldn't mind doing that. I would appreciate it. Love you guys so very much. Take care of yourselves. I will see you all in my very next video. Bye guys.